So last time I made a graphics tutorial, you know exactly how that went. And yes, I want to do it again. Not just because it was successful, there are other reasons, but we're gonna do it again. BeamerG has been updated. 0.28 is now out. I'm on the beautifully remastered automation test track. One thing that hasn't been remastered though is the graphics which we're going to tend to today. You may ask, well how? And it's not with mods. <laughs> I am under the water. And it's not with reshade, it is with the humble world editor. Now, if you've seen my previous tutorial, which you probably have, then you know pretty much exactly what we're going to be doing. But I am going to put myself in the place of a viewer who's coming to my channel for the first time and wants to know how to do it from scratch. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible, and I'm going to assume you know absolutely nothing. So we're going to press F11 to get into the world editor. And we're going to go into the scene tree, which if you don't have, it should be under window here. If it's not there, go to window and press scene tree and it will appear. Same for the inspector, which is where we're going to be actually changing things. So in the scene tree, we're going to search sun sky. This on some older maps might be called scatter sky for some reason, but we're going to click on it and we're going to be immensely scared by all the numbers we are seeing on the right. The first thing we're going to change is the Rayleigh scattering. And I changed this in the last one, but I mentioned how I'm not quite sure what this really does. But many people in the comments were quick to point out that that is essentially the amount of blue that there is in the atmosphere. And if it's not bloody clear, there is a lot of blue in the Earth's atmosphere. Now you'd think if there's a lot of blue, then we should set this to a really high number, but that's actually not the case. We're going to set this to not 0.001 as I did in the last, but 0.000. .000. One. That's a lot of zeros, just remember that number. So, there you are. Now, you may realize there is a problem. We are now in uh, outer space, but don't worry, we can remedy this by changing the sky brightness to 1000. Now, I don't need to tell you what that does because it makes the sky brighter. Now, this looks more or less similar to the vanilla game, but when you look at it side by side, the sky and the general image is just a tiny bit bluer, and that's going to be much more noticeable with the other changes we're going to make. Yes, again, blue, extremely present in the outdoor environment, but not many of you would know that. Next thing we're going to change is the ground albedo. That is essentially the color that the underside of objects will be. Now you think that would have to be very dark, which it is already, but that's not very realistic because you see in a sunny environment, again, this is New Zealand where it's great, fantastic weather. We're going to have a lot of light in the environment. And this light isn't just going to hit surfaces and stay there. It is going to bounce all over the place. Now we're going to use this ground albedo as a way of simulating light bounce which if you've ever seen images of ray tracing before is the thing that makes it look pretty in most people's eyes because when something is lit from both directions it looks good that's what bounce light is what we're gonna do is make this as bright as it can be shift the hue to 20 the saturation to 100 now this might not be noticeable straight away but I'm going to go over to a building where it will be more noticeable so this is more or less what it was before and you might be saying oh that looks good wrong so i'm gonna change it from how it was before to what i would do and this is the after now you can see that this surface underneath is being hit by bounce light from the ground because there's a lot of light being scattered around because of the motherfucking sun that's all you have to remember is the sun is bright okay you know you know when you've you've been in a tunnel or you've been inside or or whatever and you go out and you you come back into the real world and you are blinded that is because it is bright that brings me on to the next thing we're going to change which is you guessed it brightness the single most controversial thing i have ever performed on my channel was setting this number all the way up to fucking five which is i will admit very very bright i kind of did it to prove a point but a lot of people seem to not understand that i meant to say anywhere up to five you don't need to do this to yourself you can just set it to two which is what i'm doing now and even set it to three i'm gonna set it to two though for now next thing we're gonna change which i didn't change in the last one is the flare of the sun we are gonna change the flare to in my opinion the best looking one which is light flare example two and we're gonna leave the flare scale at five, but take the occlusion down to 0.001. That's mainly so that it doesn't 
clip through objects like these trees when it shouldn't and also uh, when you move around objects like that you get that nice flickering effect which I mean it just looks kind of cool. Then we're gonna go down here we're gonna go to the moonlight color. Now if you don't drive around at night then you don't have to change this but we're gonna give ourselves a nice color here we're gonna bring the saturation over to about 150. We're gonna bring the hue over to about 150 as well and the brightness which is V for some reason to 20. When you're at night driving, you're going to see that makes quite a bit of a difference. You can set the brightness a little bit higher. In fact, I will just set that to 30. You'll make mistakes. Next, we're going to move on to the shadows, which is a big area of controversy in BMG, I'd say. I mean, most people aren't staring at the shadows when they're driving along at 400 miles an hour, but it does make a difference. And this, I will point out to you before you go in the comments, and I know by this point of the video, there will be about 100 of these comments. This is going to affect my performance. Oh, I have a potato PC. Oh, funny. My graphics card's going to blow up. I'm going to be homeless once I try this. You won't, unless you do this step on a very very, very, very microwave type PC. Only proper nuggets will be affected by any of this to start with. If you can run BeamNG, you can run all the changes so far. This is the only one you may have some issues with, but it's optional. Maybe two or three FPS loss. So we're going to take this text size, which is essentially the resolution of the shadow, change that to 2048, which doubles the resolution. And you can see that there, there's a big difference. That's where the performance sucking stops. And then we're going to go over here to the overdark factor, which is a list of four numbers. And we're going to change them all to the following. Okay, get ready. 100,000, 100,000, 10,000, and 1,000. What that does essentially is gets rid of some artifacts in the shadows, like sometimes you'll be driving along, you'll see gaps in the shadows because essentially it's kind of like a clipping mesh for the sun letting the sun know that that's a car and cars aren't transparent unless you know and also it kind of extends how much of the environment is affected by the shadows and that's pretty much all the settings we're going to change in sun sky i'm going to mention a couple of more things you can change based on personal preference this is just the bare minimum if you just want to make it look that little bit nicer so if this is all you want to change you will have gone from this to this which is you know nicer it's a bit more visually appealing it's just a bit just a little bit just it's just but one a couple more things you can do if you are really nitpicky is change the size of the sun yes we have that power i am god so we're gonna go to yes sun size and you can change that i think you know like it's bright it's you know could be pretty distracting for some people uh you could change that to 0 0.1 maybe which which is kind of nice and if you're gonna do that you might as well take the flare size down a bit i'm gonna put these back because for one simple reason when you change the sun size you also change how much of it is reflected on the paint of cars you get this nice kind of effect when you have a larger sun size you downgrade that kind of lose it which is all right it doesn't make it look worse it's just it's just a little bit more appealing again and another thing we can change if you want it to look just a bit nicer is the sky brightness now i changed it to 1000 to remedy the deep space we experienced earlier but you don't have to go all the way to 1000 i think maybe you might want to sit around 800 to get the sky looking a bit nicer you could even go down to 500 based on personal preference i think this looks pretty nice you know you got got deeper shadows you got a nicer sky or you can sit in the middle at 700 so these are just some other changes you can make that are optional some more optional changes you can make are to the clouds which i have talked about before one thing i didn't mention is the fact that when you have two sets of clouds like this which most default maps do you will not be able to get to a completely clear sky so when you go to the environment and you take the cloud density all the way down there's still some clouds because that only affects one of those layers so if you want a completely clear sky just delete one of these doesn't really matter which and delete clouds one though because I don't know, I just want it to be clean. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change the coverage to 0.2 so we can see them better. You can also leave this. You can leave these settings as they are if you want clear skies. If you wanna make the clouds look a bit better, we're gonna open all these drop down menus. And this is pretty much the same as my other video, but we're not gonna make it as bright. Again, that's what I'm going for in this video is not making people blind. Exposure is gonna go up to five, makes them a bit more visible. Height doesn't have to go all the way up to 10, which is what I did last time. You can actually, in fact, bring it down, depend depending what kind of look you're going for two looks quite good Ten looks good but it looks different you know it's a different look wind speed we're going to change to 0.2 you have to make sure the base color is white as well because sometimes it's gray and look 
You don't want that. And the text scale, uh, t <laughs> that's a tongue twister. The text scale on every single one of these should be one. You can change all those to one. You can also do this thing that I do where you go in descending order from three to two to one, and then at the height to about two. Because I think that sometimes makes the clouds look a bit more appealing, like more evenly spaced and less unnatural. So the, the, there are a bunch of settings you can play around with. I'm just showing you what you can do essentially. But this is the last step. But again, I didn't think I had to make myself obvious on this, but the amount of comments I got on the last video asking me how to save it. File, save. Or you can press Control S on your keyboard. That might not work for everybody. Lost control. <laughs> There's no escape. <laughs> Just give me some space. But this is it. After all that, we have changed some things. And again, I'll give you a before and after because that was a popular bit of the last video. In fact, it was the most replayed bit. So yeah, you can do this on literally every map. Sometimes different maps will require different things in order to get them looking vanilla because game used to work differently and you might want to change around. You just, just play around. Like, I changed these settings quite frequently till I'm happy with it uh, but this is pretty much I think the bare minimum to get it looking just that little bit tastier I think is the correct word yeah that's it thanks for watching if this video doesn't blow up I I won't care I didn't expect the other one to thanks for that as well I guess but yeah have fun and that's it